there guys welcome back to my channel in this week's video we're going to be redoing some old art of mine so i was going through this sketchbook this really really old sketchbook and i found a drawing that i thought would be really nice to redo and to see also the progress since i was in like seventh grade so this is as you can see my first ever sketchbook um it's just a notebook i had some colleagues at school that had these and they would draw in them and that was my first concept of what a sketchbook was right actually having a book where you sketch in it was very interesting to me so i bought one and just started drawing and doodling and also going into stuff that i really liked and uh yeah as you can see this is very used and teared up so while going through this sketchbook so going through the sketchbook you can find dozens of sketches and creative things that I just made and I came across a sketch that I just thought was very detailed and intricate and it's uh, this little fairy it's supposed to be a water fairy for some reason but she's punk rock with all stars and weird looking wings and I don't know what the hell this hair is but it is something so I just think this is a very interesting concept and, you know, it would be nice to redo it. So I'm going to get my sketchbook and we'll get into making this in my current style. So to start off, I wanted to say that I decided not to do this piece in my sketchbook the reason for that was honestly i haven't sketched in my sketchbook in a while and i wanted to have a finished piece it may or may not have something to do with the sketch that i have might have possibly hypothetically done that i hated in my sketchbook so i redid it into a separate piece of paper where i start off by sketching out a girl so i decided i didn't want to do the full body thing for some reason i don't particularly love the my drawings in full body. Um, I, it's still something I want to work on and for some reason I just never like the finished piece no matter what I do. So I decided to go for a portraiture instead and I focused from the bust up. Um, I designed her with the same clothing. I changed up the necklace into a choker and I gave her some tattoos to maintain this cohesive idea of a punk goth fairy. I added a ch the choker has detailings in silver as well as I gave her some elven ears and some jewelry on her ears as well. For some reason I really like elven ears. I do them all the time and I decided to go for it this time. Um, I also added some studs to her collarbone. I thought that's, that was just a cute little detail. And in the end, I added her wings. I did struggle a little bit with sketching out her wings, but I really like the way they came out. to the coloring process I decided to start off with the wings. I did a wet on white technique using gouache and just let the paint do its thing. I didn't want to go into many details with the wings. I wanted the focal point to be the girl, the fairy and not the wings. I then decided to go in with all of the base colors um, for the clothing, the skin, the hair, everything. I just slowly built up the coloring process of this character. Um, I decided to go for a simple color palette, just a lot of grays and blacks, and I wanted it to be very dark and grungy. I really like how it ended up looking like, and um, I am very proud of all of the color choices and the shade choices to be exact for every part of this fairy. Um, in the end, I did add some detailing with my Ganzai Tambi watercolors, uh, they're this glitter shiny watercolors and I added some silver detailing to her uh, piercings, earrings, to her collar um, and all of that. I really like those final little details. And in the end I ended up adding a little background color just to you know fill up the blank space but also left the rim around her. Um, I messed up a little bit on the corner but I later on fixed it with acrylic paint and uh, yeah that's about it.
I'm really happy with how the fairy turned out and I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. Um, I will leave link down below my Instagram and my TikTok if you guys want to follow me there and keep more up to date than here on YouTube. And uh, I'm going to end this video by showing you guys a side-by-side -side comparison of each piece of my old 2010 piece and the 2021 version. I'm very happy with how this turned out and I can't stop looking at it to be completely honest. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as well and I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye!